Virgo Sun and Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for April 5th, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more on my website, tarotbarbie.com. Let's get it, Virgo. It's coming with the Wheel of Fortune, the Temperance, and the Star Card, sweeties. This is such an amazing spread, Virgos. You guys are so resilient, and you guys show so much perseverance. And I would say that you guys should, uh, you guys should be very much so proud of yourselves, Virgos. You guys have so much going for you guys as well. The wheel is going to start turning in your favor, Virgos, because you guys have been so patient and staying so hopeful and all this stuff, Virgos. You guys got so much victory on the way. You guys got a lot of abundance and a lot of money on the way too. All your manifestations is going to be so overwhelming for you. That you guys are going to be just fine and you guys have so many new beginnings and so many opportunities that are going to be coming towards you. Anybody who tried to hinder you, uh, stop you, distract you, anything like that, Spirit is putting an end to it with the death card on the bottom of the deck. You guys have gone through so much sadness, so much depression, so much overthinking, so much feeling trapped in your own mind of not being able to get out of it at certain times, even poverty and maybe even homelessness at, for some of you guys, maybe even shelter as well, Virgos. But you guys have always ro rose out of that and and always continue to remember who it is that you guys are. Um, <laughs> you guys are so highly protected, sweeties. And there's going to always be a lot of people that are going to try and come in your energy who's going to always try and take things from you. But knowing who it is that you guys are and everything like this Virgos you guys are always going to continue to stay <clears throat> you guys are always going to continue to stay uh sweet and loving and pure and you guys are definitely anointed Virgos and doesn't matter if people try and take what's rightfully yours at the end of the day it cannot be taken what's yours is yours uh regardless of Virgos you guys got so much happiness here Let's get it, Virgos. Coming in with the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. There's going to be communication. Also, Virgos, things have been picking, are going to start picking up a lot more faster after you guys felt like things are being so much stagnated for you guys, all right? Especially if it comes into your love life, uh, anywhere in your life there where you feel like it was stagnated, it's going to start picking up a lot more faster for you guys. You guys are so sweet and so spiritual, too. The angels are guiding you and taking care of you and protecting you at the same time. They're saying to you, Virgos, use your intuition. That trials are going to always overcome. Yes, sometimes you guys might be feeling a little bit confused at certain times, but everything's going to end up being just fine, okay? Like, you guys got a lot of favorable news coming towards you guys as well. <sighs> they need you guys to stand in your power, Virgos, that things are not going to stay as they are. Things are going to start picking up, and a lot more celebrations are going to come towards you. You guys may have been feeling anxious, tired, stressed out, and everything, but the way that you guys were able to be so resilient through all the sadness, the pain, and the overthinking, it's saying that, Virgos, no matter what you guys go through, you guys can still overcome it no matter what. Let's get it, sweeties. Uh, there's going to be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who's going to start coming towards you. This person is going to start messaging you and contacting you. There's going to be a new cycle that's going to be coming in for you guys. Angels have been working behind the scenes to get this person to come back for you. They've been literally kicking their butt, Virgos, and this person's going to come and reach back out towards you guys again. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius. You guys have been so hopeful uh, regarding this connection, and you, because you guys kept staying positive, it's about to come back for you guys. Everything's going to be just fine, Virgos. This person finds you very, very beautiful. And sometimes this person thinks that you are too good to be true. Seven of Cups, Lover's Card, Hangman, and the Star Card, regardless of they are still coming back towards you. Somebody here might have a drinking problem, but that's more likely because of the fact that they know that they have, may have messed up this relationship back in the past and they're trying to fix their they're they're trying to fix whatever it is that they did they that they had done to you, but they are still so attracted to you here too. And it sometimes just causes them a lot of confusion at the same time by your beauty. Your beauty causes them so much confusion. It's like, oh my God, how is this person so beautiful? <laughs> how are they so beautiful or so handsome, right? So expect communication because this person got the clarity that that is that they need. Uh, I do expect the message coming in from this person. Uh, they are ready to be faithful and loyal to you at the same time. They got the clarity that they need to come towards you. A lot of you guys have been single for quite some time, Virgos, with the Nine of Pentacles. You guys have been sitting in your power with the Nine of Pentacles goes the knight of wands and the king of swords this person's rushing back towards you guys they want to talk to you and communicate with you at the same time gemini libra aquarius this person has a lot of love for you uh 
and a lot of passion for you as well and they just simply want to be in a relationship with you so do expect a reunion coming in for you guys this is definitely from the angels above who's coming in for you guys this person's gone through a lot of sadness and a lot of depression virgos with the five of cups eight of swords or this is you guys too but you guys have been doing really really well <clears throat> on dealing with that energy is at the same time you guys virgos with the high priest of seven of wands seven of swords and the four of pentacles you guys are very, very much so protected, Virgos. A lot of people are going to always attack you no matter what. They, they're, all, they're always just going to be haters all around you no matter what, Virgos. That's exactly what they are. They're just simply haters. They're, they're ha you are the divine feminine and, and it is what it is, or the divine masculine, and it is what it is at the end of the day. But you guys have a lot of people who are always going to be attacking you no matter what. Seven of Wands, but the way that you show your resiliency and... The way that you guys have gone through so much darkness, you guys are always able to overcome it no matter what. Four of Pentacles, Virgos, uh, your enemies are going to eventually be blocked and maybe even supposedly blocked from their finances and blocked from their happiness and everything like that. Just because they felt like they wanted to take what was rightfully yours with the Seven of Swords or the Four of Pentacles, you guys are in fact protected with the High Priestess and Seven of Wands energy. You guys have a lot of happiness coming towards you guys. You guys have a Gemini Libra Aquarius who's very much so upset, Virgos, with the way that they had treated you. They're very much so heartbroken and you guys are also heartbroken at the same time over this connection but you guys got three aces ace of pentacles ace of cups and the ace of one. Oh, you guys got four <laughs> ace of swords ace of cups ace of wands and the ace of pentacles you guys got victory triumph like this is this is this is all you virgos you guys have gone through the storm and you guys are able to overcome it all that darkness you guys have to go through you guys are finally at the end stage now okay and you guys got an abundant amount of money here towards you guys. It's coming for you guys just now. And a lot of manifestations, a lot of, it's going to be so overwhelming for you guys, Virgos, that, you know, a lot of you guys can't even see this for yourselves because you guys may have been still in this energy here with the Five of Cups to the Eight of Swords. Like, you're just filled with so much of your own thoughts and everything. But everything is, the reason why you guys are feeling this way is because there's anxiousness. It's because so much new beginning so much new beginnings and opportunities are coming for you guys and you guys are still are feeling the shift the shift is here for you guys and you guys are able to actually feel it whatever portal it was that you guys had to go through maybe even the energy of april uh the kazimi when of the uh, of the kazimi virgos when what is it the the sun and the moon are going to be aligned at the exact same degree i think that's what it is uh, that's the shift for you guys okay and i think it's coming at the 11th degree as well so you guys are feeling the shift a lot of you guys are very much so sensitive to it at the same time uh correct me if i'm wrong if it is the 11th degree on the sun and the moon at the exact same time virgos and uh regardless though the shift is here for you guys and things are going to start picking up a lot more faster for you at, this, for the, at, the, at the exact same time. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, oh my goodness, Virgos, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person's ready to come back in towards you. They're ready to make an offer towards you as well, sweeties. And uh, everything's going to end up being just fine. So you guys are feeling the shift, and that's A-OK, -okay, Virgos. Make sure you guys don't stay in that energy for too long. Embrace it. Go with the flow. Accept it for what it is. And energy will definitely shift for you. At the bottom of the deck, you got the Death card, the Hermit. And the seven of car and the seven of pentacles there you guys have gone through a lot of darkness here Virgos, a lot of destruction but you guys are rising through that you guys have been manifesting and staying focused on your harvest and staking staying focused on your goals a lot of darkness you guys have to go through a lot of people who had to try to destroy you at the exact same time who who had no right doing that to you either but that's just who they are at the end of the day and that's absolutely fine virgos that's not your karma that's their karma that they're gonna have to deal with in the long run so you guys continue to move forward all right you guys have been staying in hermit mode and focusing on your manifestations you guys have somebody here who's who's still thinking about you quite a bit and they're worried that they're, you're going to end up rejecting their offer when they come back towards you but they're coming in fast for you virgos and even if they feel like you're going to reject them they're still going to come back towards you at the end of the day you have so much happiness for yourselves so much success things are going to start picking up a lot more faster for you virgos you guys are being very much so resilient with the nine of wands then nobody will ever be able to understand how you still stay so resilient and still stay so positive with all the shit that people have done to you like people would have thought that you would have broken down already and even when you do, you are still fine at the end of the day with the Eight of Swords 5. You've been here too many times. No matter what people try and do to put you into your own head, you still overcome it. Nobody can try you. They this is where you guys this is where you guys been for how many years? And people want to try and bring you back to that stage. It's like, yo, you know what? Anxiety, but bye. Like you guys are good at the end of the day. Like on a real note, right, Virgos? You guys have carried so much stress and so much burden, but you guys are gonna continue to move forward and stay and keep your head up at the 
the end of the day with the six of wands, ten of pentacles, and five of wands. People are going to start hating on you. People who are in competition are going to start hating on you, Virgos, because they are seeing your success now. They're seeing that you're being recognized. Your victory is officially here. People, you're freeing yourself from all the dark energies that people have sent your way, and they're absolutely being judged. So they're going to get dragged right now by the by the same toxic energies that they tried to bring on to you, Virgos. They're going to get dragged for it, and that's nobody's problem except for themselves. And the reason why they're in competition with you because you're so spiritual, so loving, so kind, so caring, so beautiful on the inside and out. You guys got a heart of gold here, Virgos with the Queen of Cups, you literally bloom in the darkness, Virgos, and Spirit is calling judgment on how proud they are of you for everything that you guys have done along the way of people trying to sabotage you, take from you, steal from you, hurt you, harm you, magic you, the whole entire nine, Virgos, but you guys continue to stay in your strength and to stay in your power and to have control of everything that it is around you at the same time. You guys are very much so going to be wealthy with the Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles as well. You guys got new offers that are going to be coming towards you and a lot of success and a lot of happiness here too and it's going to shake up your world a whole lot virgos coming in with the tower card because a lot of you guys are not seeing this coming for you guys right you guys have been sitting in solitude and staying close to god with the higher the high the higher realm are taking control of the situation they don't want you to see what's coming in for you because the future is for the unknown we're not technically supposed to be knowing this stuff and call me whatever you want to call me but that's just the truth at the end of the day i can do tarot all day virgos and predict whatever at the end of the day but still, there has to still be some sort of unknown for you guys to still continue to walk through this life without knowing what's actually still coming for you guys. The whole point of the future being unknown is for you guys to experience life, for you guys to actually know what's going on and, and being able to experience it with grace and continue to move forward because you guys have endured a lot of pain with the Ten of Swords energy, right? And spirit is going to be blocking anybody who tries to bring in destructive energies towards you guys. You guys got... A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, an Aries, a Taurus who's going to be coming towards you, Virgo. This person's definitely stressed out. They are getting the messages, Virgos, as well. They're very much so indecisive and at a crossroads of how to come back for you guys, too, Virgo. This person's overstressed over you. They're thinking about you quite a bit, and they're going to try and find a way to come back towards you. They're starting to realize their power, and they're going to find a way to come back for you. So expect communication coming in from this person. They are very loving and sweet, Virgo. So you guys, this person's ready to come in and, and communicate with you. Some of you guys may have been put in a three-party situation regarding this Virgos uh, but at the end of the day there's only one person that's meant for you and that's your soulmate so for that they are coming back towards you with the eight of cups and they are waiting for you with the king of wands and they're ready to put in the work three of pentacles they've been waiting for you for quite some time hoping that you guys were going to reach out before they reach out but it looks like they're still you guys are still going to find a way to reunite with each other they're going to find ways Virgos to make their relationship work with the eight of pentacles five of swords Virgos they're, they're leaving everything behind and they're ready to come towards you with the justice card they're leaving everything behind they're like I don't have time for this i you know what like i don't have time for the bullshit i don't have time for the beef i don't have time for stupid shit uh so for that virgos they're going to fight for this five of swords they're defeating their own demons they're defeating everybody and everything that came towards you they're coming with justice because they miss you very very much six of cups they're ready to give to you expect gifts expect offers expect money coming in towards you virgos king of pentacles Taurus, virgo taurus virgo capricorn this is a very successful person virgo they're ready to come back for you they're ready to give you a gift as well they've been missing you a whole lot too virgos and you guys absolutely deserve this beautiful beautiful energy this is the most beautiful energy that you guys have received in a really long time sweeties and you guys deserve this wholeheartedly thanks cuties bye